In this video, you will learn how to convert a procedural texture into an image texture so that you can use the texture for a video game and so on. Okay, so first we need to add an image texture node to bake the procedural texture to. And then we also need to open a new window and go into the image editor and create a new image that we can bake to. And you can set the resolution, the higher the resolution, the more detailed the uh, image will be. And if you don't have any transparency, you can just uncheck the alpha. And uh, then we can go into the render settings, switch to cycles so that we can bake the procedural texture. And then go down to bake. And in this tutorial, I'm only going to bake the diffuse texture itself and then uncheck direct and indirect. And then we need to add the image that we created to the image texture. So that we can bake to the image texture and then click bake. And after a few minutes of baking, you will have the texture. So what we basically did was to convert procedural vector graphics into a uh, pixelated image texture. And since we now have an image texture, we can uh, try to connect it to our material instead of using the procedural material. So when we connect the uh, bake texture, we can see that it works, but that it's now pixelated. And uh, you can also save the uh, baked image by going up to image, save as, and then saving the image.